I'm delighted to introduce you to Eco Echo by artist Gia Rong. Rong is part of Cannes Festival's Stay Connected Strand for this year, which is a digital programme featuring the work of 30 artists who have been in Cannes' previous two festivals. The film lasts for 16 minutes and then we will move to Zoom where we'll have a further chat with Rong and the link will be beneath the film. And we look forward to speaking with you shortly. Eco Echo is an ongoing research project it rooted in socially engaged ecological art. It has adopted as an interview, a presentation, and a workshop. It's where I meet the world and taking on the journey with water, plants, and the soil. Eco Echo. My name is Echo. In my earliest application form for London College, I wrote, I wish to be the salt, the longing to return to the sea. I will be the echo of the tireless traveller that forever searching and echoing. I was born in Chengdu, the heavenly city in southwest of China. In 1995, I was 12 years old and witnessed my first live performance in the street of Chengdu where a group of people, young and old, Western and Chinese, were gathered and the washing block of ice. It was the changing point in my hometown history. A group of artists, activists, led an environmental revitalization and brought life back to our 2,000 years old mother river, Fulanghe. From River Fulan, to River Thames. I drift to perform to the sea in Sydney, Jeju, Turku, and the Changzhou. Water shifted me from home to home. Over the years, I worked as illustrator, translator, artist, and teacher. I observe and collect stories on the way. Blossoms in spring, breeze in summer, moon in autumn and the snow in winter. Nature moves me. I always imagine myself as a little grass. No floral scents, no trees height. I'm a grass that no one knows. Never alone, never worried. Look at my friends all over the world. Until this year, for the first time, I regret to have left home 19 years ago. I was afraid I would never see my mom again. 2020, we were all forced to stay at home. In fact, after the first lockdown, I moved from London to Surrey with my husband and sons. For many years, I was convinced it was the biggest tragedy that my mom never finished her high school due to the down to the countryside movement. Even though she always argues that she learned so much more from working the farm than studying in schools. Here I am, rethinking of everything, learning to grow and care for others. I dived into many online symposiums and talks. I am seeking peace and the wisdom from the historical events and the collaborative practice. When social interaction was stopped, I'm building an imaginary dialogue. I collage ideas and a statement that carried my thoughts and inspired my vision. Eco Echo is an ongoing research project. It rooted in socially engaged ecological art. It has adopted as an interview, a presentation, and a workshop. It's where I meet the world and taking on the journey with water, plants, and the soil. Water flowing reconstructs geographies and vitalizes organisms, but not without struggle. 
，水是可以作为一面镜子，水是可以自我澄清。水的一个最大特点能够跨界。In the same way that water runs through all of our veins, water is also forms the kind of veins of the city. While the whole world is still in lockdown, Shanghai carefully hosted the 13th Biennale with the theme "Bodies of Water." The four-month program has inspired me for my first interview with Betsy Damon. A journey. With water, so seven thousand year old woman was a dream, and it took me several years to complete the dream. Oh wow! So till I could perform her, but I mean, I had two little children, one in a body cast, and you know, there's no time. You know, two hundred and fifty feet of a dry riverbed and handmade paper, and they screeched to a stop, <laughs> and they, then they turned the three in the front seat, turned around, and they said, "We'll help you do that." Fantastic. <laughs> and then I, got, then I got a grant. Yeah, everything is patterned by water. I don't know where that thought came from, but it's the truth. And I don't know anything about water. And I said, "Okay, I'm giving my life. That's it. That's it. I'm going to yeah. learn. That's it. I'm giving my life, my skills, whatever they are, to know water and to um, to do what's ever necessary. And the passion." And love of land that the Chinese have because they have lived on that land for thousands of years. Yes, you know, or the Tibetans who have lived up there for you know thousands of years. Now, compare that to most of the people, the people who have lived on my land, this land that isn't my land, would be the indigenous people. And they have no such vehicle for expression until recently, and partly we have this COVID because there's not enough um, bio, strong bio, bio systems left. So more and more viruses are going to jump out into us, and that that isn't talked about yet, and that needs to be talked about. We have to restore. The biodynamism of this planet. It doesn't mean less people. It doesn't mean less that. It just means we change how we do things. If if I did have the money that I ha would like to have, I would truly fund a lot of startup projects and create a mapping so everybody could talk to each other.、Mm. Like, how do I do this and how do I do this? You know, because since the information has been so removed, yes, and、um, and set that up so, if I if I had the way to do that, and you know, there'd be a person running it. Roots grow towards the water, branches reach out to the light. When I was research on Betsy Damon, I came across an extraordinary archive, a wall, and the Sea China. The researcher behind. The socially engaged database is Zheng Bo. I first came across Zheng Bo's work was from his project "Sing for Her," from 2013 to 2015. Hong Kong is actually a multicultural city. A large number of migrant workers and ethnic communities live here. But they remain marginalized politically, economically, and culturally. I think the problem in Hong Kong is not so much overt hatred; it's actually apathy and silence. So, what can I do as an artist? In recent years, Zheng Bo shifted his focus from human-centered perspective to all-inclusive, multi-species approach. In his statement. Art as multi-species vibration, Jim Bo wrote. Among the lessons that the virus has taught us, 
tragically, is that we cannot continue living the fantasy that we own this planet. We do not. We count only for zero point zero one percent of the total biomass on Earth. We have to collaborate with other species, whether we like it or not. This includes addressing the climate crisis and the global ecological meltdown. This also requires us to find a new definition for art. This is the time that we define art not as human any creation, but the vibrance of ten thousand beings. In 1991, I was in high school. The design on Tiananmen Square was "Socialism Good." It's a slogan made of flowers. So I, I recreated this installation. But the the second time is a few years ago. The second time, we planted the flowers in the in the soil, and after the installation was finished, we didn't intervene. So the plants would grow, but also weeds will grow, right? So You know, when we don't intervene as humans, the diversity will actually increase in certain er situations. So we started to grow, and then they interrupted the slogan. So this is one way to suggest that perhaps we should think about how do we incorporate plants when we think about socialism. If we think socialism good, do we also allow weeds to? Sort of enjoy or participate in this political idea. I'm not a scientist. I'm an artist.、Um, my primary concern these years is the climate crisis, and also I would call the the extinction crisis. I think in order to address these really planetary crises, as artists, I have to work with scientists,、um, but I also work with、um, people in humanities, in social science, etc. Because I think it's you know in order to address these large Um, issues is really something we have to come together from all the disciplines. In the event, it will be conversations between me as an artist with、um, plant scientists. I, I think the conversation is very important because we have very different approaches. You know, I'm interested in how scientists study plants, what they have learned about plants.、Uh, I'm learning from the res- their research. I'm in conversation with them. To kind of think about how we can see plants differently, how we can understand their existence not only as biological but also as political, because we tend to see our life as not only a biological existence. Feng, the Chinese word feng. Was widely used during regional and the national lockdown. The character was first seen on Uka Bun inscription of Shang Dynasty. After the ancient empires was ordered to establish the country, they cultivated soil and planted trees on the borders of closed territory. It can be interpreted as two piles of soil on top of each other, with a ruler. By its side, you must stay at home. You must stay at home. We must therefore go into a national lockdown. The virus has forced us to stay indoors. Borders closed, airports shut down. We are returned to the stay like the cavemen. We are forced to pause and behold. When everything is cancelled, we really notice nature. We are amazed by 2020 sunshine like never before. If one thing the virus has taught us is that we're so interconnected with each other, and we are so interconnected with our planet. People, including six Asian women, were shot dead at day spas in the Atlanta, Georgia area. Both Etsy Damon and Zheng Bo shared a moving experience, where they both awoke. By the nature, water, and the weeds, they both devoted the idea and the time to create art. Not only beautiful, but has impact on our living environment, both socially 
and ecologically. As our world gradually and carefully opens its border again, we need to come together to address those issues, not as nation-state problem, but a global planetarian crisis. Like Betsy Damon's Keepers of the Waters and the Zheng Bo's Wang Wu practice group, including Back to Earth program in Serpentine Gallery and the Bodies of Water in Shanghai Power Station, artists has become the front force of voice that are addressing loudly on the manifestos, on water, plants, and the soil. I like to share this new addition from Chinese ecological soil artist Song Chen. Thank you.